Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello, Rebecca. Hello, Marco. Hello, teacher. Hello. How's it going? Very good. Thanks. And you? Just fine. And nice. willing to teach something tonight. Nice, <laughs> nice. Hey, congratulations. You are on time. All, uh, I mean, every single night you are on time. Uh, you are participating all the time, I mean, very frequently. Yes, yes, I tried. I, went, I really want to learn English. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and you're doing a great job, I mean. The more you practice, the more you learn. Yes. Hello, Yonel. Hello, Gisela. Good evening. Yeah. I hope you're doing I hope you're having a great time. And I hope that you um that you are very energetic tonight, okay? Uh, you know, um, I can see Nelson over here. Hello, Nelson. Hi, teacher. Hi, Juan. Hello, Juan. Good evening. Hello. Hello, Gisela. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. All right. So let's see. I have five people and still waiting for the rest. You know, um, do you finish your midterm? Did everybody finish the midterm? Yes. Okay. What can you tell me about the results? Okay. Oh, More or less, or bad results. Good results, I hope. Okay, I can see Sonia. Hello, Sonia. Welcome. Do me the favor to activate your camera. And let's get down to business. And let us take advantage of time. You know, there is only one hour and we have to practice as much as possible. Okay, now let's go over the activities. And let's see what's going on over here. Okay, we're going to have some review, people. You did this activity, but we can like uh, see what's going on uh, or, or get extra information or some extra exercises with the same uh, midterm activity, okay? Now, the first activity we're gonna be um, live in church of completing is the listening, right? You know, English, uh, in English, we have four macro skills and the four macro skills are about listening, speaking, reading, and writing. Uh, that's why we... Hello, good evening. Welcome. That's why when we get into the class, Sonia says, teacher, I'm working. Oh, okay. Sonia, Rebecca, I will, I will write it down over here so that I don't forget it. Give me one second, please. Okay. Now, I just was telling you that uh, it's quite important to know that English has four macro skills, you know, listening, speaking, reading, and writing. And none of them is more important than the other one, okay? All of them are very important. That's why we try to go over different, different activities, uh, different homework assignments so that you can practice the, the four macro skills, okay? Um, well, the first is listening. You are going to be in church of uh, listening to a uh, different conversations. Or I think it's, there is only one conversation between Lisa and Peter. And, you know, they are going to start talking about vacation time. And the only thing you have to do is to check and to tell me what's the best option uh, uh, about this, this statement. Okay, let us go over it. Oh, let me see. No, 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 no. I don't want to.
Okay, let's let's listen to it, people. Lisa and Peter are talking about. Do you listen to it? Yes. 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 Okay. Thanks. Now. Lisa and Peter are talking about vacations. Listen. Lisa and Peter, what are they talking about? About vacations. They are talking about vacation. All right. So. And, and check the correct answers. So Number Lisa, one. Where did you go for your vacation? I went to Australia. It was my first time there. Did you enjoy it? Well, yes and no. I wanted to go surfing, but the waves were really scary. It was often very windy. The weather was pretty cloudy and cool, and it rained for two whole days. That's terrible. So you didn't surf? No, but I visited lots of museums and saw some movies. But what about you, Peter? How did you spend your vacation? Well, I had a lot of fun. I went to Italy. Wow. What did you do there? I took a walking trip in the Alps. How was the weather? Both good and bad. The weather can change very quickly in the mountains. Some days were sunny and warm, perfect for walking, but other days were cold and wet. But I still loved the trip. Okay, Janelle. Okay, people, now we hear the whole um, track about Lisa and Peter, right? As far as I remember. And the first uh, statement is that Lisa visited Australia, Australia. Australia or Korea? Australia. She visited Australia. Hey, question. How many times uh, has she visited Australia? One, two, or three, or more? What do you remember about the audio? Do you want to listen to it again? It's because, you know, I will ask or I will try to get much information. I mean, to I, I, I want you to get um, uh, some more details. I mean, I will ask you, I, I will ask questions that are not in the exercise. So you have to, to uh, be very concentrated to answer those questions, okay? Hello, Moses, good evening. Now, listen. Uh, es, esta actividad funciona súper bien porque le vamos a le vamos a sacar más um, provecho. No solo vamos a elegir a uh, una de las opciones, sino que yo voy a ir creando preguntas referente al audio, ¿ok? Que no están aquí en el ejercicio, pero que sí se oye en el audio. Entonces usted tiene que, si usted quiere, puede tomar apuntes, si no, pues nada más lo escuchan de manera muy concentrada eh, de, para que eh, puedan obtener detalles de la conversación. ¿Les parece si lo escuchamos de nuevo? Yes, no. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Oh, all right. So yes, teacher. Be, let's get concentrated once again. Lisa and Peter are talking about vacations. Listen and check the correct answers. So, Lisa, where did you go for your vacation? I went to Australia. It was my first time there. Did you enjoy it? Well, yes and no. I wanted to go surfing, but the waves were really scary. It was often very windy. The weather was pretty cloudy and cool, and it rained for two whole days. That's terrible. So you didn't surf? No. But I visited lots of museums and saw some movies. But what about you, Peter? How did you spend your vacation? Well, I had a lot of fun. I went to Italy. Wow. What did you do there? I took a walking trip in the Alps. How was the weather? Both good and bad. The weather can change very quickly in the mountains. Some days were sunny and warm, perfect for walking. But other days were cold and wet. But I still loved the trip. All right. Now, uh, I, I got some questions about it. Now, let's solve it once again. Now, where did Lisa go? Or, I mean, Lisa visited, you said Australia, right? Now, I have one question about, about that. How many times uh, has Lisa visited Australia? How many? One time, two times, three times, 
or is the first uh, time she goes to Australia? Is the first? It is the first, right? She mentioned it in the in the in the audio, right? She mentions that information in the audio. Let me see. I think I can get it. Well, I have problems with this with this track. Let's go over the the second one. How was the weather? Good, okay, or bad? Bad. It, it was bad. But why do you, what do you listen to in the audio uh, re, regarding to the weather? What did Lisa say about the weather? She said it was bad. Yeah, but I, I don't know. I wonder if you could get extra information about weather. The weather was bad. The weather was bad. Why? Why was the weather bad? Why was the weather bad? Do you want to listen to it a third time? Let us do something. We're going to complete all, all, all the exercises first, and then I will go over the, the activity once again to get to get details. Okay, we're going to listen to it a third time. Hey, Peter, Peter visited Indonesia, India, or Italy? Italy. Ah, Peter visited Italy. How was the weather there? Well, it's okay. The weather was okay? Was okay. The weather was okay. Let's see. We're gonna check, and after checking, we're gonna discuss the questions. Okay. Okay. Actually, Lisa visited Australia, and the weather there was bad. And uh, on the other hand, we have Peter, and it says that Peter visited Italy and that the weather was okay there. Okay, now listen carefully because I will ask you some questions. Um, me van a decir por qué el clima estuvo mal o por qué estuvo bien, de acuerdo a lo que dicen ellos, okay? Lo vamos a escuchar de nuevo. Okay, quiero que presten atención a esos detalles. The last time, people. We're going to listen to it the last time. Okay. Lisa and Peter are talking about vacations. Listen and check the correct answers. So, Lisa, where did you go for your vacation? I went to Australia. It was my first time there. Did you enjoy it? Well... Yes and no. I wanted to go surfing, but the waves were really scary. It was often very windy. The weather was pretty cloudy and cool, and it rained for two whole days. That's terrible. So you didn't surf? No. But I visited lots of museums and saw some movies. But what about you, Peter? How did you spend your vacation? Well, I had a lot of fun. I went to Italy. Wow. What did you do there? I took a walking trip in the Alps. How was the weather? Both good and bad. The weather can change very quickly in the mountains. Some days were sunny and warm, perfect for walking, but other days were cold and wet. But I still loved the trip. All right. Now, once again, people, let us get back to my questions. Hey, so Lisa visited Australia, and she said that the weather was bad. Why did Lisa say the weather was bad, people? Because it was raining for two days. Because? It, the weather was raining for two days. Very good. The weather, it, it was raining, right? And also she mentioned something else. What else did she mention about the weather? Uh, I mean, windy. It was windy. The weather was windy, it was rainy, cloudy, cloudy and cool. Awesome. Now, I knew that you could do it. Now, second question. 
Second oh. question is about, 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 about Lisa, hey, uh, you know, she's talking about surfing, right? Is she talking about surfing? Did you listen to something re re related to surfing? Yes, it is, but yeah. can surf in it for the water. Did, did she surf? No. No, she didn't, right? No, no. she didn't. She didn't surf because of the weather. Because the weather was bad. So instead of surfing, what did she do? She was this is uh movie theater and machine, but I don't remember the name. Wow, very good one. Lot of information. Okay. Eh, eso, eso necesito que ustedes lo hagan siempre que, que vayan a la, a la plataforma para que le saquen más provecho a la actividad. Okay. Que no se queden solo con, con elegir una de las opciones, sino que traten de comprender más allá de lo que nos está pidiendo el ejercicio. Ok. Now, uh, the word was bad. And now, on the other hand, we have uh, Peter, right? We have Peter. And, for, and you told me that Peter went to Italy, right? He visited Italy. And what can you tell me about Peter's experience regarding to the weather? He said that the weather was good and that the weather was bad. Yes or no? Yes. Why? Why? Because the way it was uh, some day warm. Oh, uh -huh. the weather's okay. Peter said, Well, you know, the weather changes uh, very quickly, right? Sometimes it's warm, and some others is cold. Very good, people. I think, I think that's enough. Ok, creo que con eso es suficiente. Vámonos con el otro ejercicio. Now, completing the conversation. So here uh, I will ask uh, volunteers, ok. You know, we are in charge of completing the following conversations and we need to finish up the double H question words according to the, to the response given. You can choose among long, good, often, and well. And, you know, I have the first one. How do you work out? Every day, I'm a real fitness freak. How do you complete this part? How often do you work out? How Every often day. do you work out? How often? How often do you work out? Every day, I'm a real fitness freak. Now, I need two people to read it, okay? I need two people to read it. I need uh, Jocelyn and Xiomara. Read it, please. Read number one. How often do you work out? How often do you work out, Xiomara? No, Xiomara is not here. Sonia, please. Uh, Sonia has some problems, right? Let me see. Uh, Oscar Antonio, please. Uh, no le miro la pantalla. No, no, no. And what about now? Do you see the info, people? No, permit me. Sí, teacher, sí se ve. Uh, okay. How, how often do you work out? Yo Every... no lo miro, pero voy a ver por qué. Uh, okay. okay. So somebody else, please read the, read the answer. Every day, I'm a real fitness freak. Okay. 
Ya, ya lo miro. Now, okay, very good. Now, do me the favor, please. How often do you work out? Um, how often? Ah, good. Every day. Ah, how often do you work out? Every day, I am a real fitness freak. All right, I'm a real fitness freak. Very good. Now, second, how do you play tennis? About average, but I'm getting better and better. What's the answer? How well do you play tennis? How well do you play tennis? Okay, and what's the answer? What's the answer? Who wants to help me? Okay, if you want to participate, you can raise your hand. About a very, a very way. Um... ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Average. Average. About average. About uh, average. But I am getting better and better. But I'm getting better and better. Very good, Oscar. Thank you. Okay. Now, let me see. Number three. How do you spend at the gym? Just 30 minutes a day. Who has the time? What's the answer? How long do you spend at the gym? Okay, Gisela. How long do you spend at the gym? How long? How long do you spend at the gym? Just 30 minutes a day. Who has the time? And uh, who wants to read the conversation? Volunteers, please. Who's 30 minutes a day? Who has the time? Well, very good. Thank you. Uh, Maria, right? Thank you very much. Now, number four. Number four. Aha. How are you at soccer? Okay, I get it's not really my favorite sport. What, what is the answer? Good. How, How good? good are you? Okay. How good are you? How do I suck? Thank you, Joel. Janelle. Sorry, Claudia. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, Claudia. I'm so sorry. Okay, fantastic. How good are you at soccer? Okay, I guess. It's not really my favorite sport. Okay. Now, the next one is about completing conversations also by choosing the correct past form of the verb given in parentheses, right? Now, I hope that you, that, that so far you have like studied the, the video that you share in, in WhatsApp and that you are still memorizing as many as many verbs in English. Not only the way they are written down, but the, but also the way they are pronounced. Okay, that's quite important to me. Now, did did you stay home last night? Over here, you are gonna get or you're gonna be given three options. Now, only two options: stay or stayed. One or two. One. 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 All right. Now, who wants to read, please? Because I need to check pronunciation. Did you stay home last night? No, I didn't. Now, yes, right, Janelle. Thank you, Janelle. Very good. Now, who wants who wants to help me with the second one? We're gonna see the two options we have. What did you What did you do? What did you did? What's the best option? What did you do? What did you do? What did you do? All right. And this says, I go dancing at the new club on 8th Street. Lucy and my were there too. Goat or a wind? Wind. Wind. 
Okay, I went dancing at the new club on 8th Street. Susie and Mark were there too. Fantastic. Number four. Uh, oh, really? Yes, we we have a great time. How did? Had. Uh, had. 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 Second option is the best, right? How did doesn't exist. Okay. A great time. Where where be you? Where be you? Where be you or where were you? Where were you? Number one, right? It's a, it's the best. Okay. And number six. We have two options also. Who wants to who wants to read? Us. Yeah, but I, I mean read the whole statement, please. It was in the jungle mask for evening. Yeah, how, how boring, right? And the last one I have actually no. I met my friend there who mm -hmm. spent the evening laughing and talking. Spent. Spent. Is that the correct one? Yeah, all right. So let's see what's going on. What happened with this? Okay. In the first one, how often? Very cool. How well? Nice. How long? Very cool. How cool? Do you stay? What did you do? I went. We had. Where were you? I was. And the last one we spent. Very clear. That's fantastic. Now, um, If you have any questions, you can ask, okay? If you don't, we can move on to the next part. Remember, this is only a review about the midterm. So if you are not uh, committing mistakes, it's because you got a, 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 a good score, 80%, 90%, or 100%. That's, that's, that would be uh, quite good, okay? We're gonna continue with the next part. Okay, now it's the same about choosing the correct answer. But over here, we're gonna go uh, over the, um, the next, by using the next topic about any one sum there is, there are, and all the information we studied about it. All right? Now, I have the number one, it says, excuse me, is there a gas station in here? Yes, there is. There's around the corner. Where's the best option? Any, one, or some? One. One. There's one. There is one. There is one around, around the corner. corner. Around the corner, very good. The corner. Fantastic. Now, who wants to read this part? Excuse me, is there a gas station near here? Fantastic. Yes, there is. There's one around the corner. Fantastic. Hey, uh, I really love when you pronounce, uh, I mean, and then you use the intonation, uh, the correct intonation in a question, a statement, and, and that's really good to listen to you. Now, there is or there's? There's. Yes. Uh, okay, you can say there is, right? No problem, but over here, if, if we have it in the contractive form, to be the favor to pronounce it that way so that you get accustomed to pronouncing uh, these this, um, structures in, the con uh, in a contractive way. Now, let's see, number two. How hotels are there in this neighborhood? Many. How okay? 
Do we have able to read the statement? How many of hotels are there in this neighborhood? Very good, thank you. How many hotels are there in the neighborhood? Pretty nice. In the number three, there are? A few. There are a few. Because hotels are countable, right? Number four, is there public transportation near here? Much. Much. There much. Is there much public transportation in here? Good. Number five, no, there isn't? Any. 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 All right. No, there isn't any. No, there isn't any. Very good. Let's check it and let's move on. All right. Good. So no mistakes, people. Hey, um, I can see that you don't that you don't you don't like to commit mistakes. Veo que no no um no le gusta cometer ningún error y eso está muy bien. Eh, pero lo que lo que me llama la atención también es que si si están haciendo todos todo muy bien en el repaso quiere decir que en su midterm lograron por lo menos un 80% o un 90% o en el mejor de los casos un 100%. Is that right? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Well, I hope so. Now, over here is getting a, a little bit harder. You are going to be given some structures, okay, or some patterns for you to complete the statements, right? And it says, uh, put the words in the correct order to make sentences or questions. Now, over here, over here, we're gonna use the chat, all right? Vamos a usar el chat. La primera oración que yo vea en el chat, la voy a copiar y la voy a poner acá como respuesta. Okay? I watch TV after dinner. All right, very good. I got Jocelyn. Uh, okay, okay. Now, this is the sentence, people. They will tell me if it is correct or not. Ustedes me van a decir si está correcto o no, o qué le podemos arreglar, okay? Now, watch teacher. Uh, la C, la T va primero antes de la C. Ah, okay, so. Very good. So, you see? I watch. often, teacher. I, I often. I, I often watch. Teacher. I often. Very good. Ya ven como estamos construyendo todos una, este, nuestro, nuestra propia um, aprendizaje. I watch. I often watch TV after dinner. Ahora sí ya está perfecta. Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes. Mayúscula la, la uh, Very good. Capital letter. I often watch TV after dinner. No, no, yes. It, is it perfect? Sí, no, no hay mayor preposición. Sorry? TV. Dinner? No, TV. Ah, uh, TV. Okay, TV. Thank you. TV after dinner. And uh, now, yes, right? The period. You're forgetting the period, people. Okay. Uh, I, now, yes, I think we, we did it, right? I often watch TV after dinner. Very good. Now, let's go over the next. We're going to check it later. Now, Second exercise, if you coffee that do drink every evening. The first one I get, I will I will copy and I will paste it there. Okay, now Jocelyn, I got Jocelyn's. I got Jocelyn's. 
Ok, take a look at it. Now, we're gonna, we're gonna check it. Vamos a revisarlos todos. Now, do you ever drink coffee in the, in the evening? No problems? You can see the same thing in the chat, okay? Do you ever drink coffee? Do you ever drink coffee in the evening? A coffee no le falta una e. Ah, okay, very good. Spelling. And do you drink coffee? All right, double E, double E, double E. All right, what else? No more than that? No more problems? Do you read capital letter? Capital letter at the beginning. All right. Do, do you ever drink coffee do you, in the evening? Now, yes, right? Is that correct, people? Well, we're going to check it later. Okay, number three. A very doesn't Jeff much exercise. Okay, everybody. Type it in the chat. I will get the first I see in the chat. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. I don't see any answer in the chat. Use the chat. Very doesn't Jeff much exercise. Hey, what's going on? Ah, okay. Uh, I got uh, Maria, Maria. Okay, Maria's answer. No, that's about, uh, that's about coffee, right? No, I mean the number three, number three, Jeff doesn't, it. okay, I got Jocelyn once again. Very good. Okay. Now, let us take a look at, at it. Jeff, capital letter, very cool. Doesn't contractive form, exercise, excellent. Exercise, if, exercise very much. Okay. I think the period is the only the only uh, part that's missing. But wow, that was quite cute. Now let us check and let us see what's going on. If we did a great job or if we committed some mistakes. Okay, look, the first one. I often watch TV after the now. Very good. Now you know TV capital letter at the beginning. Uh, at the beginning of a sentence, you are going to use capital letter also. Do you ever drink coffee in the evening? Very good. Do you ever drink coffee in the evening? Very good. Very good. Number three, Jeff, that's an exercise very, very much. Wow. All right. That was really good. Okay, Ian, we're almost done, people. We're going to go, I don't know. Is there any question about this part? Yes or no? No questions? No. All right. So let's okay. let's let's move on. Let's move on. In the reading. Okay. Now I think it's going to be kind of difficult to read that, but it will be meaningful. All right. So this is going to be the last part, people. Then I will check the list of attendance, and then we are gonna go, we're gonna go to bed. So Try to do your best because this is the last part. Now, can you see, can you see that? Can you see the letter? Can you see the letter, people? Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. So you are going to help me to read. Yeah. You're gonna help me to read. I will ask some of you to help me, okay? And I will check the list of things at the same time. Now, Ada, please, could you could you do me the favor to start reading the first part?
Dirted. Uh -huh. Dirted. Dirted. Berkeley is a great city. I really like, like it. I'm sorry. It here. I really like it here. I really like it here. I hear always lo lots to do. To do Very every good. day. Every day after class, I walk down Telegraph Avenue. Okay, I think... always like to to go to my my favorite coffee shop in the afternoon and meet my friends there for coffee. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, now Christian, continue please, Christian. Uh, on Saturday. Uh-huh. Yeah. On Saturday, my friends and I usually take the bus to San Francisco for the day. I love the shops and the restaurants, and it's a great city for jogging, for in line skating. I'm really, I'm really getting good at it. In Golden Gate Park, we always go to the Chinatown to have lunch, and then we go walking or shopping in the afternoon. Fantastic, Christian. Great pronunciation. Uh, let me see. David, Roberto, David, next part, please. David? No, 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 I, I can't. I can't. I can't. Can, I, I can't see. I know, yes, right. Okay. Go ahead, David. Sorry, teacher. No, I can I can see. What about now? No, no, no. No, I have Pro problem. I, you I, have... I have no problem. Yeah. Uh, okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. You are going to participate later. Denis okay. Francisco, uh, Ricardo, Ricardo, let me see. Ricardo, I think you want to participate, Ricardo. On Sunday, sometimes I like to play tennis with my friends. Or we watch a, a sports event like a football game or a basketball game on TV. I think American football is very excited, exciting. Exciting. Very good. And the last part? Uh, Victor, let me see. I saw people who wanted to participate. No, Victor is not in the class now. I, I wonder what happened to Victor. He started uh, very well, but now I don't know. Isabella, please read the last part. Okay, ¿por dónde fue que se quedó? I mean, well, that's all for now. Ah, uh, okay. Well, that's all for now. Take care. Hope to hear from you. No, no se ve ahí. Hope you soon, soon. From you soon. <laughs> all right. Love, Ruth. Thank you, Isabel. Isabela, okay. what is your full name? What is? What is your full name? Full name A Esmeralda Isabel Martínez. Ah, that's Diana. right. Because I was ah, looking for Isabel, right? Isabel, but... ajá, sí. Yeah. Me equivoqué al escribirlo cuando me registré aquí en Zoom. Ya lo voy a corregir. Thank you very much. Thank okay. you. Okay, people. Now, we have had some review about this. And now we're going to try to finish, okay, with this activity. Now. You're going to tell me if it is true or false, okay? She walks down Telegraph Avenue every day after class. Give me one second. Uh, Denny Francisco, true or false? No. 
No, Dennis is not in the class. Uh, Marco, she walks down Telegraph Avenue every day after class. True or false? I think it is true. It is true. Okay, thank you. Moses Antonio, she meets her friends for a coffee in the evening. Moses, Moses Antonio Osegueda. I saw Moses in the class. Yeah, Moses is here. Hello, Moses. Moises Antonio. Well, Moses is there, but maybe he is facing some problems with microphone. Let's see, Nelson, Nelson, tell me the answer, please. False teacher. It is false. Thank you very much. Now, Stephanie Michel, you're gonna help me with the last, with the next, Stephanie Michel. Sometimes, she sometimes dances to, dances to live music. True or false? Is Stephanie Mitchell here? Let me see. No, Stephanie Mitchell is not in the class. Okay, now who wants to help me? Now, volunteers. I need volunteers now. True. It is true. Very good. Number four. She enjoys uh, going to San Francisco on the weekend. It's true. It is true. And she doesn't like in light skating, in light skating. False teacher. Beautiful. She loves to. She goes shopping or walking after lunch on Saturdays. That it is, is true. true. She plays tennis with friends every Sunday. False. 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 She likes to watch football and basketball on TV. True. 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 Say true. Now, we're going to check the last part and then we're going to. We're going to try to finish with this class, okay? True, false. Hey, what's going on with this one? She sometimes dances to light music. That was false, right? Okay, now, do me the favor to check in the, in the, um, in the reading the information, okay? So that you clarify any doubt that you have about this statement. Number three. She enjoys going to San Francisco, that's true. She doesn't like inline skating, that is false. She goes shopping or walking after lunch, that is true. And she plays tennis with friends every Sunday. That, that, that's false. And the last one, she likes to watch football and basketball on TV, very good. Now we are already finished with this. Okay, now the next week, People, we're gonna go over the next um the next we're gonna start with the le next lesson, okay? We're going to learn about how to describe people. That's going to be for, for next class, okay? And actually I think you have um a homework assignment. Is that right? Is that right? Do you have a homework? Yeah. yeah, Moses. Ah, yeah, that's right, Moses. I'm sorry, I forgot about it. Now, you had a homework, right? You are in church of uh, looking for information about a neighbor you chose yesterday. I hope that you are working on it because on Monday, we're going to start with that. And besides that, um, do me the favor to um, get information about a person that you love, because we are going to learn how to describe people. Pueden elegir para la próxima semana, acuérdense, hoy hicimos el repaso del midterm. Para algunos, pues, es muy significativo, otros pueden, pues, pueden pensar, no, pues eso ya lo hicimos en, 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 antes. Y este obtuve un buen score. 
Mm, esperaría que sus, sus notas anden entre los, el 80%, 90% y el 100%, que es lo, lo ideal, ¿verdad? Que no bajen de ese puntaje. Um, pero cuando, cuando hagamos ese tipo de repaso, pues eh, reafirmamos lo que, lo, el conocimiento que hemos estado aprendiendo. Eh, aunque sintamos que a lo mejor está fácil, pues si está fácil es mejor, pero, pero lo reafirmamos, ¿ok? Reafirmamos lo que hemos aprendido, la pronunciación, etc. O sea, es muy importante. Uh, por otra parte, uh, recordarles que la otra semana tienen esa tarea. Yo creo que ya avanzaron. Ya avanzaron en buscar este, información acerca del lugar que eligieron ayer. Y el, el lunes, pues, tienen esa pequeña presentación. ¿Cuánto tiempo debe durar la presentación? Hasta dos Eso minutos. Ah, ah, pero, ¿Pero es obligatorio los dos minutos? ¿Son obligatorios? No, no, es voluntario. No. Es, voluntario. Eh, es, ¿Es voluntario? ¿Y cada quien decide el tiempo o, 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 o hay un mínimo? Cada quien decide el tiempo. Exacto. Fíjense que este, lo hago de esa manera para que se sientan cómodos y no estén, y no estén este, pensando, uff, tengo que hablar dos minutos. O no estamos que, estresados. No están estresados. Si usted quiere hablar 30 segundos, pues son 30 segundos que usted va a producir inglés y se va a sentir cómodo con esos 30 segundos. Pero hay un avance. ¿Verdad? Este, depende del ritmo en el que usted quiera ir aprendiendo. ¿Alguien puede decir, Tiche, puede hacer 10 minutos? Sí puede. Pero, pero, este, si alguien quiere hacer más tiempo, puede enviar su presentación o su audio a WhatsApp para que el tiempo, pues, este, podamos, este, invertirlo de la mejor manera. ¿Verdad? Eh, si alguien, por ejemplo, dice, yo quiero hablar 20 minutos, pues lo pueden hacer. Pero mándenos el audio este, en el WhatsApp para que todos nos demos cuenta de que usted es capaz o ha sido capaz de superar lo que el profe está pidiendo, que en el caso son dos minutos. O sea, tienen la libertad de caminar a su ritmo de aprendizaje. ¿Ok? Entonces, el lunes vamos con eso, son dos minutos. Eh, que yo es lo, es lo que yo estoy solicitando, pero ya ustedes saben cómo, cómo vamos a trabajar. Eh, la otra semana empezamos a, a hablar acerca de cómo describir a las personas, que ¿okay? hay diferentes maneras. Si yo empiezo a preguntarles, por ejemplo, cómo, cómo son cada uno de ustedes eh, respecto a su personalidad, entonces ahí hay una manera de describir a las personas. Y si luego les pregunto um, que nos describan cómo son ustedes físicamente, entonces hay otra manera de describir a las personas. Físicamente, emocionalmente y de personalidad. ¿Ok? Eso es lo que vamos a ir aprendiendo. Se los menciono porque este, vamos a, vamos a, a trabajar en, en, en ambas vías, ¿verdad? No solo nos vamos a ir quedando quizás con lo que la plataforma nos dé, sino que hay que ir investigando un poquito más, ¿verdad? Meternos al internet, gracias a Dios, pues hoy en día todos tenemos, o la mayoría, tenemos acceso a, a la información verídica con respecto a la pronunciación y vocabulario, estructuras, y estamos a un clic para, para aprender más, ¿ok? Entonces, vamos a sacarle ventaja a eso. Hay alguien en el chat, quiero ver. Dice, ah, ok, Moses. Ok, I got it. Voy a, voy a chequear la, la asistencia y pues creo que con eso terminamos. Ya, lo, ya marqué a... Uh, la asistencia, pero me gusta corroborar al final. Por si acaso yo me he equivocado en algo, ustedes me dicen, no, teacher, aquí he estado, solo que tenía problemas de, con mi micrófono o algo. Por lo menos, Denis. Veamos, Denis. No, Denis no está. Ya. 
Teacher Dennis escribió en el WhatsApp, igual que Semara. Ah, Denis es quien me pidió permiso, ¿verdad? Ok. Semara es la que no puede hablar porque tiene una gran gripe. Es cierto. Pero... Ok. La otra persona es Stephanie Michelle. Víctor Alfredo. Xiomara Elizabeth. Ok. Si no los menciono es porque ya noté que ustedes eh, participaron en la clase y que están acá, ¿verdad? Este, no sé si hay alguna duda, alguna... ¿Algo que quieran decirnos? ¿Algún consejo para seguir aprendiendo inglés? Eh, si hay alguien que, es, que le da sueño a esta hora, ¿qué les recomiendan para que ese sueño pues, no, no, no nos interrumpa en la clase? Cinco pies. <ríe> ok. <ríe> Tomar soda. Tomar soda, wow. Tomar soda, tomar cafecito. Saben, eh, yo encuentro muy... Eh, me gusta mucho tomar un baño antes de entrar a la clase. Eso me ayuda a mí también bastante. Tomar un baño es este, muy, muy, muy bueno. Siento que me funciona mucho y tomar cafecito. Eh, para, para seguir aprendiendo inglés, les hago el llamado a que no se queden solo con esta clase. ¿Ok? Siempre se los voy a repetir. Ustedes van a aprender al ritmo que ustedes deseen. ¿Verdad? Si usted quiere aprender rápido, lo puede hacer. Si usted quiere ir aprendiendo al ritmo de las sesiones que tenemos acá, pues también lo puede hacer, solo que va a ser un poquito más lento. Lo importante es que se mantengan conectados con el idioma. ¿Verdad? Conectados con el listening, escuchar, escribir, hablar, uh, listening, speaking, reading, leer, ok, en inglés, esas son las cuatro destrezas que hay que estar trabajando. Se los comento porque este, de esa manera ustedes van a ver resultados más rápidos, ok, y le vamos a sacar más ventaja al, al curso. Si no hay más, pues entonces nos quedamos por acá, que descansen y espero verlos la otra semana. Sí, son. Thank you, teacher. Good night. 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 Good night